the cosmos that was sewn on the um six for the fourth um really really good sizes to those um there's a few cells that no, there's only one cell that hasn't got a plant in it and yet some of these have got two in there so yeah i would consider that a success Hello everybody, welcome to the Tudor Cottage Diaries. My name is Heidi. These are my diaries. You're very welcome here. And it's May. The Veronica's looking beautiful. I don't know if you can just see that in the middle. And I've got to remember to capture some seed from that this year. We still have the tulips. Just looking beautiful. Got the Solomon seal in the background. And then all of the bees being buzzy and busy. Camellia, I think the last of the buds have flowered and we've had at least 10 weeks from this. It's been so beautiful. This beauty is going to be Rambling Rector. Smothered in buds. The colour is still mainly coming from the honesty and the cow parsley. I can't believe how much the hedges have thickened up. We are surrounded here by hedging, other than the back paddock, which we removed the hedge so that we would have a great sight line into the paddock from our bedroom window. Hedges are at least five foot deep. Full of wildlife and berries. starting to rain. Well, it's definitely raining again. It's supper time and it's always the way, but the ingredient that I want to use is right at the bottom of the garden. I want to grab some of the wild garlic and add I'm not going to take much.
just going to capture some of the plants that have come into flower since the last video. One of them being this beautiful, beautiful azalea. And this was one of the only plants in the garden when we moved in with the Alalankia tree. There is an abundance of granny bonnets in this garden and I'll try and capture most of the different varieties for you. This one's not out yet, but there is a promise of a flower. I mean, how joyful are these little flowers? So delicate, so beautiful, and they do look like Victorian bonnets. And a little reminder to those of you that grow peonies, now's the time to get your supports in. So this one has got its plastic supports down low, and then it's nice rusty metal supports up a bit higher, just to support it from the wind. And then this peony at the back has a single stem, so it has a single stem support. But yeah, the peonies, the peonies are coming up. So at the moment, I'm just trying to show you the granny's bonnets, the acrolegias. And then I've walked past this little clematis, this little star clematis that has the sweetest little flowers the sweetest little flowers. What an absolute cutie. My neglected step over apple tree. The frame blew down last year and I completely forgot about it, but it's flowering saying hey there please give me some support so one of my jobs today will be to set up a frame for that and I'll show you what that looks like afterwards just to prove it's not all rosy in the garden I have my fair share of the lily beetle they have been munching away on my lilies Storm circling the cottage since two o'clock in the morning for probably two to three hours. But the air feels so much sweeter now. hoping the rain's going to stop because I've got quite a few jobs to crack on with today. Mainly we've got to take the old bathroom to the tip. I want to go through the tip shop because you can normally find water back. 
cups and I need some more watering cans and things like that from them. Um, yeah, there's the old bath that's got to go. The other job I want to do is attempt to dig out. I don't know if you can just see it there. The wishing well. So we have breakfast and then get loaded up because we've got an early slot at the tip. And then hopefully this weather will dry out. Because of the rain, I've decided to dive into the greenhouse and we can have a quick look at what's happening in here. I think, first of all, let's start with the lemon tree. There is so many buds on this lemon tree. Um, as soon as they start to open, I will open a vent out or open the door, depending on the weather and the temperature, just to get these pollinated. Um, it'd be great to have some lemons again this year. So we had a really good sowing rate for the stocks. These were put in about four weeks ago. And then for the chilies, we've got Hungarian hot wax, padron and hot lemon. So that's good because we are running out of chilies in the freezer. So Zinnia Purple Prince, we've had an okay um, success. One, two, three, four, seven plants. Um, yeah, from the amount of seeds that were sown, probably not great. And then from the Zinnia Queenie mix, absolutely nothing, um, which is really annoying. Chinese Lantern, yeah, probably might be too early to say at the moment on the straw flowers we've got quite a good success with those but they do need to put on a lot more growth before they can even go near the garden and then these are the melons in the mini greenhouse and all six have sprouted so we've got nine melon plants yeah so i'm fairly pleased with what's happening in the greenhouse it's just really the temperatures outside that are disappointing. So the temperature inside the greenhouse isn't probably as warm as it was this time last year. So I feel like some of the germination um, rates have been a lot slower. And I feel like the seedlings are a little bit behind than where they were last year. That said, the weather's helping with the tulips. So I still have all the tulips out. And who can be angry about the weather when you still have tulips? A week into May. I have this sense of being overwhelmed, but not in a bad way, in the most amazing, uplifting way. And I'm looking around the garden and everywhere I'm looking, something new has arrived, has pushed its way up through the soil and is begging for my attention. And I feel as though I don't have enough time to spend with each and every one of these plants. And I know that might sound silly to some of you. I think if it does, you're probably watching the wrong channel because I imagine that the people that are on this channel are crazy about plants and about gardening. And indeed, some of you share your love and your passion for gardening with me. And it's to my very core. I eat, sleep, drink gardening. I'm not into fashion. I'm not even into the looks. My hair desperately needs highlights. I rarely scrape together a face of makeup. My nails are abysmal, but my garden, my garden, I just try and keep as beautiful as I can. And do you know what? I'm patting myself on the back and I'm saying, job well done, Hyde. <laughs> If we can't rejoice in the little things that we do, how can we rejoice in what others do? And on that note, I'm gonna bid you a fond farewell and see you in probably a week or so's time with what's coming up in the garden.